G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and recently I was uh, presenting at the Western States Horse Expo in Sacramento and one of the things they had us all do was uh, we had a thing called Clinicians Unmounted and we had to do a talk each day and uh, one, or not each day, a couple of days and at the end of one of the talks I asked everybody did they have any questions and uh, one lady said yeah I've got a horse that's scared of gunfire and uh, I said, well, when does it encounter gunfire? And she said, I don't know if she does mounted shooting or what it is, but she goes somewhere, maybe some sort of reenactment, I can't remember, but she goes somewhere where there's lots of gunfire. And uh, she goes, she just goes crazy. I said, well, what's she like with, um, you know, one gunshot? What's she like with the sound of a whip cracking? She goes, well, I've never really tried it, but I don't think she'd like that anyway. But so I said, well, what I would do is, you know, for me, I... You know, I'm not really a shooter or a hunter or anything, so I don't really shoot off horses. But I said, for me, I would just break things down into pieces, you know. can If they're scared of something that's a noise, can they be scared of something that's less of a noise? And, like, for me, when I first start desensitizing these horses, this is my little friend Bundy here, you know, I'll desensitize them to the, the lead rope, which just moves. Then I'll desensitize them to something like a whip that moves. But as it goes through the air, it makes a bit of a whooshing noise and eventually you get the whip to where it can make lots of whooshing noises and eventually you get that whip to where it can make a loud cracking noise. So anyway, I thought, well, you know, I've never really, uh, I've never really uh, trained a horse to gunfire, but I've trained a lot of horses to do a lot of things. So I thought, well, I'll get a gun and see what happens here. So this is... Wave in the distance, you can see my son Tyler. Tyler, give us a wave. It's my son Tyler over there, and he is holding in his hand a 357 revolver. Okay? Uh, we shot it earlier, not without the horses. That dang thing's loud. But anyway, so what we're going to do is, this horse has never been around any gunfire at all. We are going to now show you how I would go about this. Okay? So what I'm about to do here, you know, a lot of times, there's a lot of timing involved in... in uh, like um, desensitizing, there's a lot of timing involved in a lot of things, but you know, horses, let's, let's all well, think about this. When I crack this whip for the first time, I make a whoosh, a whoosh, a whoosh, and a crack. So it's just a noise, a noise, a noise, and a bigger noise. So what we're gonna do here is, I am going to crack this whip four times. He's perfectly good with a whip crack, okay? So I'm gonna crack this whip four times. It's gonna go crack, 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 crack and Tyler's going to shoot the gun and he's probably 150 feet away okay so we'll probably try it at 150 feet see what happens anyway so ready Tyler you good so one watch Bundy two three four he has a bit of a look that's about it okay come a bit closer now Tyler so Tyler's going to wander over here. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit closer. That's good. Okay. So we'll try it again. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Bang. But he still doesn't move. But it's a loud. I mean, he's he's checking it out. He's like, what the hell is that? Okay come a little bit closer so we probably won't we'll probably make this distance that he moves that's good yeah that's good we'll probably you know start out making the increments get smaller as we get closer we're not going to go 150 feet 140 feet 120 feet 100 feet 50 feet no feet we'll start out 150 feet 100 feet 75 feet we'll see how we go Are you ready Tyler okay so we're gonna go one Two, three, four, and Bundy's, see Bundy didn't even look that direction, so come a bit closer, Tyler. So that's three, he's got six in there. Okay, good. Okay, you ready? Okay, so Tyler's probably 50 feet from me now. Okay, so just watch Bundy's expression. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and... There's not much of an expression. Okay, that's four. Come a bit closer, Tyler. Very good, that's good. Now, my son is not a horseman at all. 
okay? But he's been around this stuff a lot, and right then he just made a decision that most people wouldn't have made. He's been heading in this direction. We tried to have him in the background so we could see him in the, in the shot, but you notice when he got closer, and I said, come a bit closer, he came closer and he's in front of the horse. He didn't come closer beside the horse. Does that make sense? You're like exactly, I'm cracking crack the whip, cracking the whip out here, not beside this horse. So Tyler gets that sort of thing. A lot of people wouldn't have made that. They'd have just kept walking in here. Okay, Tyler, you ready? I'll tell you what's hard crack. We come out here to film this thing today in this long grass out here, I wasn't expecting it. It's kind of hard to crack a whip in the long grass. Okay, so, ready for this Bundy? One, two, three, four. And he didn't even move. Okay, Tyler, come and stand right here. Maybe just over there a little bit so I don't hit you with the whip. Okay. So this is Bundy, the closest he's ever been to gunshot. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good. Now, you got one left? Okay, so that's six. So empty those things out and uh, refill that thing up again real quick and then we'll, we'll go again. But did you see, Bundy probably had more reaction to that, the first gunshot, when it was 150 feet away. You kind of, what the hell was that? Right then, he was, uh, you know, 10 feet away and he barely looked at it at all. And so what we'll do here in a minute is, if we had, a, this, this is something you want to think about training horses. If you're training and you're getting something done, then you have to pause for a second. When you start back up again, you probably won't start out where you left off. So you got six in that thing. So what I'm going to have Tyler do is step away a little bit further, probably go to 20 feet again. Good. Okay. So now, good. So we're going to do it again. One, two, three, four. Okay. Come closer. Okay, that's good. One, two, three, four. Ah. Using proper firearm safety, hand me that beast, would you? Thank you. So, all I'm going to do right now is I'm holding the horse and the gun at the same time. Oh, that's loud. That is very loud. Okay, did you see what he did? First time he's ever had a gun this close to him. We'll do it again. Whatsoever. Now, was he always this quiet? No, it takes a long time to get to this point, but this is a perfect example of the gun, the trail ride, the whatever, is not the thing that you have to focus on. It's focusing on all the basics that lead up to it. And um, once you can get all those basics really good, then you shouldn't have any problems at all. So there you go, that was pretty cool.